Good morning students. Welcome to Tenali Part Shala. As you know, we have started important questions chapter wise previous year questions. From first few chemistry chapter wise we are talking about. Already we have completed some basic concept of chemistry, structure of atom and periodicity chapter. And this is the fourth chapter guys. So if you have not seen those chapters, the link is given in the description. First you go through that then come to this one guys. So in the today's session we are going to talk about important and fixed questions which are asked in annual examination first PO as well as midterm exam. Very important for midterm and annual organic chemistry some basic principles and technique chapter. So let us begin. One more questions. What are homologous series? This was asked in uh, March 2013, March February 2015 in Belgium District Annual Examination paper. Series of organic compounds which have same functional group but successive members differ by CH2 in it are called homologous series. So that means two or more compounds having same molecular formula, sorry, two or more compounds having same functional group but differ by one CH2 in it or two CH2 in it. Those are called what? Homologous series. What is electrophile? Electrophile. Electro means electron. File means loving. So it is electron loving. Electron is negative. Electrophile is loving electron means it should be positive. Positive means electron deficient. It is not having electron. So electrophiles are electron deficient species. They may have position positive charge or neutral molecule with no lone pair. So examples have given it may be positive, it may be neutral guys, but there is no lone pair. Remember all boron family member elements are electron deficient. They require electron to complete their octet. Remember, yes, all positive ions are electrophiles, neutral ion with a no lone pair. They are also called electrophiles. What is nucleophile? Exactly opposite to electrophile. Nucleophiles are electron rich species. They may have negative charge or neutral charge with a neutral with a lone pair of electron. Cl minus OH minus. If you talk about NH3, there should be one double dot. Double dot indicates there are lone pair of electrons. I hope you followed guys. Write the bond line formula for 2 bromobutane. How to write bond line formula? Bond line formula can be written with the carbon atoms are shown with a dot and bonds are shown with the lines. 2 bromo butane. This is a bond line formula, guys. Give the example for non benzenone aromatic compound. So, only one example given in the NCRT that is tropon. Structure of tropon is like this seven membered ring, it is, guys. Mention one use of chromatography. It is used to separate components in kind dyes, used to separate the colored pigments in plants, used to determine the chemical composition of any substance. So many applications are there the chromatography can have. Write the IUPAC name of, you see this is a compound given to you, carefully see guys in the right hand side you are having CHO aldehyde group, that means we have to start the numbering with that only, 1, 2, 3, 4, third position you are having methyl. So it is 3-methyl-butane-1-al. Al why? Because it is an aldehyde. So name is 3-methyl-butane-1-al. Why you are written 1-al? Because of first position aldehyde. Why you are written butane? Because uh, parent carbon chain containing 4 carbon atoms. Why you are written 3-methyl? Because third position methyl group is there. Write IUPAC name of. So this is a compound guys. Carefully see. If you uh, name with the left hand side. 1, 2. Second position substituent. If you are naming from the right hand side. 1, 2, 3. Third position substituent. So which is lowest low control is following. Left side. So count the parent carbon chain. Containing number of carbon atoms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 carbon atoms are there in the parent carbon chain. Second position. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Second position, fifth position, methyl groups. See guys, 2,5-dimethylheptane. What is the name? 2,5-dimethylheptane. Which is the precipitate formed when sodium fusion extract is added with acetic acid and lead acid. So already you know guys, when sodium uh, black, uh, black precipitate is obtained, that is uh, lead sulphide. 
see sodium react with sulfate to form na2s yes, sodium sulfide that sodium sulfide treated with uh, lead acetate to give lead sulfide and sodium acetate that lead sulfide pbs is there now which is actually black color right ipc name of this compound so when you move from right side there is a double bond guys so one two three four second position you are having methyl group so two methyl but one in what is the name two methyl but one in talking about question number 11 guys again iupac name they are asking again you see second position methyl group second position double bond when you move from left side second position substituent is there when we are moving from right side second position double bond is there when double bond substituent both are positions at the simultaneous equivalent position then i told you that you have to use double bond for more priority so we have to start numbering from the right hand side one two three four five four position methyl so two methyl pent two in four methyl pent two in this is the correct answer write the ipc name of the following bond line formula so bond line formula is given to you like this you have to write the ipc name see guys if you want to uh, number the compound in the left hand side one two three four five third position bromine is there so if you want to number it from the right hand side also third position bromine is there so total how many carbon atoms are there one two three four five so three bromo pentane three bromo pentane so if you are not understanding how to write the bond lines formula in iupac name you comment below guys i will make a video on that in a, a, a upcoming days so that you can be clear to it uh, you guys so you can easily answer in a neat examination as well as ct examinations right if you are getting any confusion regarding while writing the nomenclature and while writing the bond line structure please comment give it below guys if you want the video i will make a video in upcoming days don't worry so this is a question given to you they are asking for IUPAC name of this bond line formula again you know the triple bond is started from first position 1 2 3 third position alcoholic group so if you move from right side 1 2 third position alcoholic group so here also alcoholic group is third position here also alcoholic group is third position means you have to start with left side because triple bond as well as functional group is getting lowest priority so 1 2 3 4 5 so pent 1 wine 3 all what is the name of this compound pent 1 wine 3 all so this is a homework for you guys so you have to answer for this see guys this is a homework for you these two are homework question number 13 and question number 14 so you have to answer the question for uh, your answer in the comment section you just uh, write your answer in the comment section with the question number remember guys with question number Talking about question number 15, among primary, secondary and tertiary carbocations, which one is more stable? And you know already, carbocation stability depends upon the number of electron donating group present on it. And alkyl group is called electron donor group. So, if uh, tertiary carbocation means carbocation having three alkyl group attached to it. So, therefore, tertiary carbocation is highly stable than secondary than primary. Which is highest stable? Tertiary. Talking about reagent species which attack are substrate in order to get product is called a reagent name the following chain isomer of n-butane so n-butane means straight chain with the four carbon atoms isobutane means one branch so chain isomer is isobutane position isomer of one butane is two butane functional isomer of ethanol ethanol alcohol what is a functional isogram guys see chain isomer of n-butane is isobutane position isomer of one butane is two butane to butene it is sorry and functional isomer of ethanol is dimethyl ether ethanol and ether are functional isomers aldehyde and ketones are functional isomers remember guys talking about question number 12 what is the hyper conjugation effect delocalization of sigma electrons of ch bond of an alkyl group directly attached to an atom of the unsaturated system or to an atom with a unshared p orbital so this is called hyper conjugation effect suggest a suitable method to separate sugar and salt from an aqueous solution containing them so fractional distillation due to difference in their solubilities in water so fractional crystallization not distillation sorry fractional crystallization is a better method to separate the sugar and salt from the aqueous solution because their solubilities are different in water 
name the method used to separate liquids with a smaller difference in boiling point fractional distillation salt and aqueous solution fractional crystallization liquids with a smaller boiling point fractional distillation yes which one of the following shows maximum hyperconjugation effect which one is having more hyperconjugable hydrogen atom that will show maximum hyperconjugation effect see in first question ch3 ch double bond ch2 double bonded carbon is having one ch3 group and which is containing three car hydrogen atoms three hyperconjugable hydrogen atoms in second example the double bonded carbon is having two ch3 group hence the number of hyperconjugable hydrogen atoms are six therefore second example is having higher hyperconjugation effect name the separation technique used for separation of glycerol form spent line in soap industry aniline and water mixture distillation under reduced pressure is used for uh, spent line in soap industry and aniline and water can be separated by steam distillation formula of prussian blue fe4 fecn6 thrice this is the formula for prussian blue i hope you know regarding this two more question only one question i have taken what are free radicals arrange the following free radicals in increasing order of their stability and you know free radicals also electron deficient species they also required electron donating group on them so that they can be stable so tertiary free radicals are more stable than secondary than primary than methyl so which is tertiary then so neutral species which contains an unpaired electrons are called free radicals so tertiary means c dot ch3 twice free radical is electron deficient species which required electron donor group attached to it then only it is stable that only i talked about see there tertiary is highest stable than secondary is stable than primary stable than methyl and some some people are getting confusion that sir what is primary secondary and tertiary c free radical containing carbon is attached to three more methyl group it is tertiary and if free radical containing carbon is attached to two more methyl group it is secondary one methyl group primary and and very importantly if there is no methyl group, only ch3 group is there that is methyl free radical so highest stable is uh, the free radical which containing more number of methyl groups because electron donating group present on it it is highly stable <coughs> five more questions how do you determine nitrogen present in organic compound by zeldahl method see guys in zeldahl method steps are like this the compounds containing nitrogen is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid nitrogen in the compound gets converted to ammonium sulfate the resulting acid mixture is then heated with excess of sodium hydroxide the liberated ammonia gas is absorbed in the excess of standard solution of sulfuric acid so uh, absorbed in excess of standard solution of sulfuric acid the amount of ammonia produced is determined by estimating the amount of sulfuric acid consumed in the reaction it is done by estimating unreacted sulfuric acid left after the absorption of ammonia by titrating it with standard alkali solution the difference between the initial amount of acid taken and that of left after the reaction gives the amount of acid reacted with ammonia percentage of nitrogen can be calculated by following below formula 14 into m into 2 into v minus v1 divided by 2 divided by 1000 into 100 divided by m so if you just uh, cancel the zeros of 100 and 1000 so you are going to get 1.4 into m into 2 into v minus v1 divided by 2 whole divided by m so this from this formula you can easily calculate amount of nitrogen present in our given compound this is zeldahl method how do you estimate halogen by carrier's method again same thing known mass of organic compound is heated with a fuming nitric acid in presence of silver nitrate that means you have to take organic compound add agno3 in a hard glass tube known as carrier's tube in the furnace we have to heat it carbon and hydrogen present in the compounds are oxidized to carbon dioxide and water so there carbon oxidized to carbon dioxide hydrogen oxidized to water similarly silver is silver nitrate is converted into silver halide ppt that ppt is filtered washed dried and weighed that weight using that weight we can easily determine 
how how much percentage of halogen is present in that see guys that let let mass of the organic compound taken is equal to m gram mass of the silver halide formed is equal to m1 gram mass of the halogen in m1 gram of agx is equal to atomic mass of halogen into m1 divided by molecular mass of agx so if you want to calculate percentage multiply with 100 and divide with organic compound mass see there percentage of halogen is equal to atomic mass of halogen into m1 divided by molecular mass of agx that is same into 100 divided by m1 m1 means mass of the agx formed during that it is not m1 actually it is m guys m is mass of the organic compound sorry for that divided by m comes m means mass of the organic compound not m1 just correct it guys properly what is resonance effect again same question polarity produced in the molecule by the interaction of two pi bonds or between pi bond and lone pair of electrons polarity produced in the molecule due to interaction of two pi bonds or between pi bond and lone pair of electrons present on adjacent center term is known as resonance effect what is chromatography explain the separation of organic compound by column chromatography as of now i am not going to explain this you just read with the ncrt textbook just i will talk about the definition chromatography is a process for separating components of mixture that remaining column chromatography you just read from the ncrt guys how is halogen estimated by carrier's method? What is homologous series? Same questions already we have discussed about this. For a molecule, write its complete expanded structural formula. See the molecule. This is propanone guys. Propanone because it is a ketone. Complete expanded structural formula. First we will write that. See this is complete expanded structural formula. Means uh, each carbon atom should get 4 bonds. And hydrogen atom should get one bond, oxygen atom should get two bond. I think all are satisfied. This is a complete expanded structure. How many sigma bonds are there? You see, guys, uh, in a first carbon, three CH bonds are there. All are sigma. CC, how many sigma bonds are there? CC sigma bonds. One, two. Two CC sigma bonds. CH sigma bonds, three plus three. Six plus three, nine. 9 plus in out of double bond so the carbon oxygen double bond is there no out of one double bond one is sigma one is pi so total 3 plus 3 plus 2 8 plus 1 9 9 sigma bonds are there. what is the hybridization of carbon atom attached to oxygen carefully see guys carbon atom attached to oxygen is having one double bond so that means hybridization is sp2 it is not sp guys sorry it is sp2 bond line formula you see this is a bond line formula without showing carbon and hydrogen we have to write the bond line formula. functional isomer for it given compound contains ketonic functional group hence functional isomer should be aldehydic see that this is ketonic given to us we have to write aldehydic like this remember keep in your mind ketone and aldehydes are functional isomers but remember guys the molecular formula should be same Right in a two difference between inductive effect and electromagnetic effect. See there. Inductive effect is a permanent effect. Electromagnetic effect is a temporary effect. It involves displacement of sigma electron. It involves transfer of pi electrons. Attacking reagent is not required in the inductive effect. Attacking reagent is required in the electromagnetic effect. Partial charge is developed. Complete charge is developed. Occurs in saturated system. Occurs in unsaturated system these are the five difference between inductive effect and electromagnetic effect so what type of electronic effect is exerted by nh2 group attached to the benzene ring see guys nh2 group is electron donating group it is because it is having lone pair of electrons so electron donating group present on the benzene then it is called a positive resonance effect which effect positive resonance effect what is a position isomerism give example you know already two or more compounds having same molecular formula but differ in the position of the substituent or atoms or functional group example butane propane one all propane two all see carefully see molecular formula is same name is same but functional group is also same what is difference position of the functional group you can write position of the substituent or position of the functional group in first case first position oh group is there in second example second position oh group is there hence they are called position isomers and the phenomenon is called as position isomerism with a neat label diagram describe the estimation of carbon and hydrogen in an organic compound so just read yourself guys this is given in the ncrt write the functional group for aldehyde and carboxylic acid aldehyde 
C double bond O one side H remember ketone both side carbon chains for the compound so one compound is given to you write the bond line formula of the compound see how many carbon atoms are there first you have to show carbon atoms with dot lines 1 2 3 4 5 5 carbon atoms you have to show with 5 dots and how wherever triple bond double bond is there you write down over second question mention whether the compound in saturated or unsaturated carefully see guys at least one double bond or triple bond is there it is called unsaturated so compound is unsaturated identify the number of sigma bond and pi bond carefully see if how many h's are there three four five six six ch bond sigma bonds are there plus then triple bond one sigma bond is there c c sigma bonds how much one two three four four plus three plus seven eight nine ten ten pi bonds are there sigma bonds are there ten pi bonds are there three so how you got pi bonds three because you see double bond containing one pi bond triple bond containing two pi bonds what is a homologous series give example you know already homologous series two or more compounds having same molecular uh, same functional group but differ by ch2 units sorry it's what is position isomerism given example again same question already we have discussed about this aldehyde and ketone example have taken explain Lissagne's test for halogen very important question guys definitely ask a question see guys sodium fusion extract plus dilute sal nitric acid boil cool and add agno3 solution to that so if you got white ppt soluble in ammonium hydroxide chlorine is present Pale yellow PPT is springly soluble in ammonium hydroxide, bromine is present. Yellow PPT insoluble in ammonium hydroxide, then iodine is present. See guys, why you are getting white PPT, pale yellow PPT and yellow PPT, we will see that. First, NA reacts with halogen present in our compound to form sodium halide. That sodium halide is reacted with added silver nitride, AgNO3, to form AgX PPT. If it is AgCl, white color. If it is AgBr, pale yellow color. If it is AgI, yellow color. So, this is the case, guys. I hope you understood. If they ask a Lessagnes test for halogen, you have to write the column also, you have to write the reaction also. Keep in your mind, very important question, guys. Explain the position isomerism with example halogen by carriers method. Already we have discussed about this so many times. So these are the homework for you guys. You have to do yourself. So if you got any doubts, you can comment below guys. I will try to answer it uh, for the next video. Right. So you just try yourself guys. These are also homework for you. At least you comment question number 18A. Problematic part is there. So you just uh, uh, calculate the percentage composition of carbon and hydrogen in the compound so you try yourself guys these are the questions already we have talked about this so many times some of they are new some of they are old only so try yourself if you are not getting you come uh, you comment on the comment section i will talk about it don't worry so i hope you followed guys this is a small video regarding organic chemistry so i hope it is for you uh, you have followed it so if you are not following it, please go through the video once. Definitely you are going to understand what I am going to talk about. Right. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you want some more videos, some more chapters, whichever the chapters you want, comment below guys. I will try to make the videos on that. So in mathematics also I am going to do it. Don't worry guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you.